Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Polygon node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and uh, we have gone over the Polygon node before. So this little node right here. And if you remember right, we can just uh, bring it in and uh, draw stuff. And there we go. Now, if we want to use, say, our shape nodes for this, as opposed to the polygon node, we can do that with the S polygon. So let's go ahead and bring in an S polygon. And we're going to add it to our fusion project here. And if I select the two, you can kind of see the differences of what's going on. One, this is a shape node. And this is a general polygon node that we can use for masks and all that other stuff. Because if you notice, if uh, I bring in, say, my polygon with my effects mask in here, I cannot input a shape node into my polygon as a shape. Because these shape nodes don't operate that way. And again, like I said, you can think of all these S nodes or your shape nodes as something you would use in like uh, Adobe Illustrator where you would create vector graphics. That's basically what we're doing with all these S nodes. So let's delete this polygon. And if you remember right, we need an S render to be able to render out these vectors. So we're gonna input that to our media in this into our render. And if I go into our polygon, now we can create a polygon. And this node is fairly simple. We've got all of our tools up top that are exactly like our polygon node that we've already gone over. So if I want to uh, create curves on this, I can just select that. And you can manipulate everything just like you can in the polygon node. And if we go up to our menu right here, we can create a solid shape or a bordered shape with just a line. And if we create the lines, we've got our same border styles we've got in all of our other uh, polygon nodes. And we can change the length of our line. And once we change our length, we can change the position of our line. And again, we can offset our shape on the X and the Y. We can offset in Z space, even though this isn't technically rendering in 3D, but we can offset our Z space for our Z position. Additionally, we can change our size. We can rotate on the X, the Y, and the Z. And then our fill method right here with our non-zero and our alternate. Basically what this is doing for us is if we have a very complex shape, let's go ahead and flip this all back. And if we have an extremely complex shape, with a lot of uh, crisscrossing and let's, let's get rid of that border there. So yeah, if we have multiple lines crossing right down here, our fill method, if we're not getting the look we want, if you switch it to alternate or non-zero, it may fix where our shape is uh, crossing over each other. And that's what that fill method is for. Now, the one main difference on uh, our S polygon that we don't have on our normal polygon uh, nodes up here is the ability to change our style. So we can change the color. And we can change the color on the RGB independently. We can also change our alpha. And we can change the opacity. And down here, we have this button that says allow combining. And to show that, let's go ahead and... Uh, create another polygon node. But remember, if we're gonna have multiple shapes, we need an S merge that we went over yesterday. So we're gonna put an S merge. And let's go to our shape and let's just copy it. We're gonna paste it, input it. And we're just going to uh, offset it a little bit. So it's offset. And if we look, we can see our uh, little alphas here and our opacity are creating uh, different colors based on how they're layered together. But if I go into this polygon and select allow combining, 
can go to this one and select allow combining. Now it's just going to even our uh, shape colors and just combine them without applying that opacity in that alpha to them. So that's what these allow combining checkboxes are for. So if you need that look, uncheck those. If you don't need that look, check it. So you've got a solid color. So that is the S polygon tool. I will see you in the next node breakdown.